Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to customize your very own metal cuff bracelet using PickTheGift.com. There are several different ways that you can find the item on the website. The fastest way is usually the search bar up here, but today we have our item right here on the homepage, so we're going to go ahead and click it. Once you click your item, it's going to bring you to this page, the personalization page. When you get here, you want to go ahead and just read this little bit to make sure your item is actually the right one that you want to customize. Once you've read the description and determined that this is the right product for you, you're going to come up here and click to personalize. And that's going to bring up this box. You can either add design, add text, or add team name. You can add all three of them, but you just have to start with one. So we'll add design. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and choose this air, hot air balloon. Select design. Once your design comes up here, there are two different ways that you can resize and rotate the image. You can either use manually, which is using the mouse to move it. You click and hold and you can move it anywhere you want. To resize the image, click and hold any of these four boxes and you can enlarge or shrink it. And to rotate using the mouse, you click and hold the white box and you can rotate it. Or you can come over here to the controls and do the same thing. If you want to position your item, use these. To resize your image, you can enlarge it and shrink it using the plus and minus and to rotate it you can use the wheel you can also use these over here if you just want to rotate it a little bit at a time okay. so we're going to go ahead and uh, enlarge our object just a little bit and I prefer to use the mouse but you guys can use whatever method of enlarging and resizing your object that you want so we'll go ahead and we'll just center it like right there. Okay. And then whenever you want to look at your image without everything around, you just click this gray part. And that's why I got rid of all of that. So I can just look at my image and see how it looks and make sure everything is positioned accurately. And once you are ready to continue editing, just click your picture again and everything will come back. So one thing to keep in mind when you're editing your picture is that you have these effects and borders down here. So for example, if you want yours to be uh, grayscale, just click grayscale and it'll make a all black and white and gray and there are several different um, several different effects you can add to your image we're not going to add one today but just keep that in mind when you're customizing your picture you can also add borders one thing to remember about borders though is that it only applies the border to the image not the entire item you're customizing so um, for example if you want a border that kind of goes around the image we'll just go ahead and pick this one Okay, so we want the border to go around the image, but notice it doesn't go around the outer parts of the bracelet of the item. It just goes around the image. Okay. We're not going to use a border either, but just remember you have those options and it makes a lot of fun for customization. Okay, so once you have uh, finished your object, you can go ahead and click off just to make sure everything looks okay. And then you can click add to cart. Clicking checkout is going to bring you up this box and you can either design another. So if you like the way your cuff turned out and you want to add that to cart, but design another so you can check out with multiple items at once, click design another and it will add this cuff to the cart and you can go back and design one more item. Continue designing. If you don't like the way your cuff turned out, go ahead and continue designing. Or if you're finished uh, customizing your product, you can go ahead and click check out. Check out is going to bring you to this page and you can choose to either check out normally or you can check out with PayPal. Uh, once you decide the method of checkout that works best with you, it's going to bring you to a standard checkout page for most online shopping and uh, then you can proceed to check out from there. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to call us up here and we will help you in any way we can.